In this segment, you will learn how to weld bond a roof panel using Fuser 108B. Benefits of using Fuser 108B for this application include improved cycle time, reduction of noise, vibration, and harshness, bond line control prevents overclamping. Begin by removing the front and rear glass. Then remove old adhesive using a razor knife. Depending on the vehicle body style, you may also need to remove the door weather stripping or drip check moldings. Drill factory spot welds at the front, rear, and side flanges. Cut out the roof panel at the sides with an air saw, then use an air chisel to separate. Caution must be taken not to damage any structure below the roof skin. The panel will most likely be attached to reinforcing ribs with a foam adhesive. If necessary, use a heat gun to warm the roof panel and remove it from the foam adhesive. If foam is present, be sure to leave it intact for proper installation of the new panel. With the roof panel removed, grind all paint, primer, and surface rust from the edges where Fuser 108B adhesive will be applied. If there is a galvanized coating, be sure to grind to the bare steel. Next, remove any E-coating or galvanized coating in the bond area of the new roof panel with an angle grinder. The bond area is the portion of the new panel that will contact the roof structure mating flanges. Pre-fit the new panel to ensure proper fit. Prior to applying the adhesive, Clean the bond surfaces of dust and debris using compressed air. Now you are ready to install the new roof using Fuser 108B. It is important to note that prior to using any two-component adhesive, seam sealer, or foam, dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. If foam is present, begin by applying Fuser Factory Match Urethane Sealer Adhesive, stock number 800EZ, to the reinforcing bows. Fuser 800EZ has an open time of one to two hours, so you'll have plenty of time to complete the roof installation. Next, apply a 3 8 inch to 1 half inch bead of adhesive to all prepared edges. Depending on your fit situation, additional adhesive may be needed in certain areas. Keep in mind that Fuser 108B adhesive has a 40 to 50 minute open time at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. Higher or lower temperatures will alter work times for adhesives. Properly position the new roof panel. Once positioned, do not pull away from the vehicle. If repositioning is needed, Slide the roof panel. This maintains proper contact between the roof panel and flanges. Clamp evenly and tightly with insulated clamps. The glass beads in the adhesive prevent overclamping. Apply screws or rivets in hard to clamp areas. Remove the excess adhesive with an acid brush or dry rag. Allow the adhesive to cure for one and a half to two hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius before removing the clamps, unless welding will take place within this time frame. Clamps may be removed immediately after the panel is welded. Expect the adhesive to be a little tacky on the surface, as this is a normal property of the adhesive. Now we are ready to weld bond. Be sure to review all pertinent information about the use of the squeeze-type resistant spot welder before you begin. Consult the welder manufacturer for the approximate recommended settings for weld bonding. You may begin welding immediately, any time during the adhesive cure process and or when the adhesive is fully cured. Welder settings will vary when welding through wet versus cured adhesive. If a test sample through cured adhesive was not made, Use the welder manufacturer's recommended settings for welding through cured adhesive. Once the first weld is made, continue welding, maintaining the original spot weld spacing. Weld should be placed as close as possible to the original spot weld location without overlapping the original weld site. Do not place a new spot weld directly over the original weld location. 
Grind the excess adhesive with 36 or 50 grit discs. Once the adhesive fully cures, sand, then prime and refinish according to the paint manufacturer's recommendations. This completes the Weld Bond roof panel procedure using Fuser 108B. For more information, visit www.lore.com slash Fuser. Call 877-ASK-LORD or contact your local Fuser distributor.